Okay, first of all, I would like to take the privilege of welcoming all three lovely people, extremely talented. I'm feeling absolutely humbled to uh, moderate a session with all three of you. Um, Rinku, uh, we got you uh, earlier, so yes, it's a second time. Uh, Asta, thank you so much for taking our time. And sir, it's an extremely humbling experience to have you with such a long experience in the field of publishing and media. Um, my first question is, like, social media has changed. You know, media, uh, once we were uh, kids, it was more of a print media, newspaper, printed, and magazine of that sort. So, uh, written part has, I guess, it has made a lot of people writers. But still, that pen, paper, that kitab ki khushbu wala jo nasha hai, wo abhi hai. What is one thing which keeps people glued to get published on a paperback kind of thing. What is that one thing? Asta, uh, you are a acclaimed, you know, a new age writer. A lot of people look up to you. What is one thing which keeps you glued to that? Um, you know, uh, we came a little early and me and Rinkuji were just speaking on that. And I was taking some tips as a young person that uh, how do you do it? What really happens, I think, is, uh, you know, the distributional channels. You're, you want as a, as a, as a Kalakar or as a Fankar, you want your Kalakar to reach somewhere. Right. So every Kalakar or every writer, I think, needs a reader, you know. Hmm. So we feel that uh, this traditional book and the writing of it touches more hearts. And as a, as a personal uh, person, it is what is the truth, mm, I think. Mm, mm. I do write a lot on Facebook and Twitter, mm. uh, but um, but still when I have to write, it is always the paper and the pen. And uh, I, what I have to say, I think, apart from the romanticization of this paper and the pen, there, there is something very true that comes out when I put that pen on that paper. Mm. Otherwise, on I mean, I'm someone who doesn't type and, uh, and Rinkuji will tell me more. <laughs> You're right, it's an old world romance also a little yes, bit because absolutely. Twitter and Facebook and social media, they have a lot of reach right, also, right. just as books have distribution, but there's something special about, you know, the, so the smell that is of paper. Exactly, the smell of paper is still there, which is keeping uh, the writers glued onto that, yes, we do want to get published, at least ek bar apna naam paper pe uh, dekhne ka. Yeah. Uh, writers and hopefully readers as well. Yeah. <laughs> readers as well, yes. So you have an vast experience in media. My question to you has that uh, how has media changed? I mean, of course, we see um, as a reader, we see that okay, it has changed. But as a person who has been a contributor to the media, what has been your experience since last uh, few years? Uh, let me uh, correct the impression. I have been a journalist for over uh, 35, 30, 40 years. I have covered. Uh, politics, violence, all kinds of things. But I primarily see myself as a writer. I've published two works, two fictional works. I'm working on the third. Uh, I'll try to answer your first question. Why does a writer want, wh why does someone want to become a writer? Yes. Uh, I was pulled to writing because uh, I conceived of this notion of getting immortality. Of, 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 of uh, being known or being uh, read after I was I passed on. That you leave behind something more than property and uh, children, etc. Right. That's really what's pulled me. And I think writing, all, all creation, like creating music, painting, so, I'm just looking at uh, absolutely, Ganesh, absolutely. Uh, the great Ganesh Pai, and I was just going through it. Uh, it is, I think, the hardest thing to do. It is really the hardest thing to do because you've, uh, you have no map. It's like an endless sea. You don't know where the other shore is or where you're going to go. Or you're, going to go you're, you're going to flounder, sink somewhere. Uh, so it's endless. So that's, a, that's the beauty of it. And the lady mentioned about pen and paper. That's very true. I write with a pen and pencil. I don't even use a... Okay. I like to sharpen the pencil and you know, use the rubber like a child. It's a wonderful experience. And I can, you can do a lot of editing if you use a pen and pencil, uh, pe uh, paper and pencil, because then you can scratch out and you can override. It's wonderful. 
that is something very nice you know using a pencil and when he said that uh, using the eraser i guess it's been years and years that we have used eraser it's a something which was related with childhood which we can at least you know incorporate just to live those moments again okay so yes that notion is there that um, once you create something especially in terms of art um, apart from the uh, property and as you said uh, that is a um, way of uh, eternity isn't it yes. definitely so art keeps you, you, you attempt it we attempt it of You're course never sure. you know when you are not sure right 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 uh, rinku Uh, as sir said um, kahin na kahin hame ek um, ek notion hota hai ki uh, we want to uh, be read how have readers changed over the years well a lot of new subjects have come up uh, readers and um, generally consumers of theater of films we've, mm. we've seen them evolve thankfully right. so so a whole lot of new writing has also come up i can just speak um, on a very limited basis on the kind of writing that i do for example i've done business writing so all three of my books are on entrepreneurship and specifically they are on women entrepreneurship okay, and i've right. seen a lot of readership come up in that area because a lot of aspiring women entrepreneurs women are, are coming yes, up absolutely. right right so the areas are only opening up i think anywhere that you find an interest and in expertise i mean you needn't worry about whether there'll be enough readers or not if you have something interesting to say sure enough there are enough readers. so basically uh, when we are doing the writing part it is more of rather than giving a um, wisdom or preaching it is more of what sharing a kind of thing and it is more of venting out the feelings whatever the topic we choose of isn't it what do you say us about it um yeah i think you know even if it's a work of fiction somehow hum apni kahani usme kahin na kahin keh jate hain ye aksar hota hai ha ye aksar hota hi hai um i think at the end of the day writing or like so said any art is such a personal thing that you end up speaking your story you know because you know yourself best hmm. so you somehow do say the pain or the joy or something about it so right. i definitely think a part of it is your story for sure yeah and if i say about publishing like all three of you are uh, published authors so people uh, who are still into writing for them uh, getting that tag of published author uh, you can imagine i mean once you were there on that side kahin na kahin wo ek ichha wo ek journey hoti hai that i have to bridge that gap of getting that published author kind of thing uh, starting with you sir with that uh, kind of experience what publishers look for i mean uh, right now self publication is also coming up a lot and the traditional publications are too going on so uh, what do you think i mean uh, when especially people don't get uh, through the big publications they opt for the self publication you know and sometimes self publications have created history like um, uh, i guess um, uh, that uh, shiva's trilogy was actually a self publication book which created uh, such a huge uh, fan following see i i got some statistics i thought sure, i'll please. share something uh i think it was in 2017 that a record was uh, created there were 1 million self published authors in the united states that's in 2017 1 million that's a one huge million, number that's a that, one that's huge a number that's a record that's a record and uh, that's not to say that self published authors always make money absolutely but again there's a study which is a study by author earnings they say and i quote we live in exciting times today it is possible to be a full time professional author quietly earning dollar 50000 a year plus even six figures without even sending a query letter to anyone that's i'm quoting from a report okay so Well, that's that's one thing that you know you can self publish etc mm -hmm. uh assuming that you have uh, let me speak from my own understanding please show sure. what this is uh i never went into the business of uh, fiction because i wanted to be known uh i'll i'll carry forward from what the lady said which is i do not have a reader in mind i never write for a reader I write for myself yeah. and I, and uh, it's the inner world which mm. i which i sort mm. of bring in and exploration of the inner world is uh, extraordinarily difficult as anyone absolutely would, 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 absolutely would, would say 
So I do not look at a reader, I explore the inner world. Now, when you're exploring the inner world, there's also the question of bread and butter. Ah, that's important. Yes. And uh, this is a very, very, uh, it's, it's a very, very dodgy area. Uh, you, can, you can be writing for 60 years and not be known, just be in a corner, you know. It's, it, uh, and Edgar Allan Poe was found in a gutter. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, so and so, uh, um, F. Scott Fitzgerald was, uh, he died as a drunk. I mean, uh, Great Gatsby, it's a great book. It's a great Absolutely. book. Yes. Hemingway shot himself. It's a, it's a very, very dodgy world. Mm -hmm. So uh, people who really want to come in, I'll say, okay, great. But you know, understand the other side. And writing. Don't look at the glamorous part kind of oh, thing. No, no, no. There's, name and fame. I think it's just very, it's a very alone task also. Yes, totally. Your writing is the loneliest task and more it isolates you, it takes you away, it changes you. Actually, it takes you to another world where yeah. where you are living the character's life yes. and you try to create that whole aura around you. And sometimes if the character is going through a low phase, you yourself feel that lo yes. loneliness in your life. You created that loneliness, you know, Absolutely. for that character and to unless feel because you feeling, want to feel it. You won't be able to express. Absolutely. You become the character. I'll, I'll give you an instance. There's a character called Jake Barnes in uh, Hemingway's first and greatest novel, which is called The Sun Also Rises. It's also called Fiesta. Uh, Hemingway became Jake Barnes. Hemingway became his character. And the character then destroyed itself. So it's a very dodgy world. Very dodgy. So that is something which, uh, you know, the writers should keep in mind that... Um, it's true. If anybody is looking at getting into writing for the glamour or the money, there isn't either. I would, and that's not the best reason to get into writing. I will, I will, I will, I will take the other part of your sentence that fame to show though, uh, India still, when we say that I am a poet, we say that I am a poet, what do you do? So they say I am a poet or I am a writer, I am a storyteller. I said, okay, fine. Now what do you do? What do you do? So this is a bitter truth uh, that if someone is a poet or a writer or a storyteller, that's fine. But what do you do to earn living? It is. Um, so, most have a day job to support themselves or an entrepreneurial pursuit or something like that. Because see, it also yeah. keeps you truthful. Absolutely. If you yeah. don't write for money, yeah. mm. uh, that's the expression of the soul. I guess that is that is very important because once you have an agenda or a, a timeline that every 15 days you have to send an article to the uh, a newspaper or a magazine and if, if something uh, during those 15 days you are by any reason you're not in that frame of writing yeah, you will be compelled to write uh, because you have to set an agenda and deadline but but, but there are always exceptions uh, dostoevsky mm. is the greatest modern writer uh, brothers karamazov if you read, i mean uh, if you read his uh, stuff about uh, christ coming down and visiting in the midst of the spanish in inquisition and Christ gets uh, jailed by the inquisitors. And uh, it's amazing, uh, amazing journey of imagination. But Dostoevsky had a, had a weakness. He had a weakness for gambling. Now, he was a military engineer by training, but he got into writing. Now, the chaps who had lent him, his publisher was at the door, waiting for that manuscript at the end of the day, because if he didn't write that thing, he wouldn't have the money for next day. Mm. So he's, he was, in a sense, writing for money, but he didn't have time to revise. He didn't have time to conceptualize a story, frame a story. I mean, trust that, I mean, incredible genius. Dostoevsky, today I'm speaking about Dostoevsky. We're talking about what? 120, 120 years? years? 120 years, and he's this, he, he started modern writing. Right. I mean, uh, Albert Camus, the whole works, if you read Camus, if you read Hemingway, and if you have read Dostoevsky, you will tell, oh gosh, these guys, this, he's the guru. But he wrote, he had to write. If he didn't write, he didn't have he the, didn't money. Have the money. And, and uh, Hemingway, he went into, I think, uh, 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 into dog racing. <laughs> Crazy characters. <laughs> Like Charles Bukowski used to work uh, in a post office. So, I mean, I think everybody, uh, as an artist, I think there is a sense of melancholy that you drive oh, from. Yes. If you don't have that, wo, I think you can't do it. It becomes imperative. Uh -huh. 
to write all happy families are the same <laughs> that's tolstoy all happy families are the same yeah. all unhappy families are different yeah. so the requisite is and we take is, the cues from the difference uh, yes so it, it's, it's it's a tragic fate <laughs> yes yes uh, one thing a uh, uh, question which many of the writers have there in mind that one publishers because we are talking about writing of course uh, it is something which is very personal and uh, it differs from writer to writer what made us writers is, is a different uh, every writer has a different reason but uh, once you go for a publishing thing uh, what is uh, what do you think i mean publishers uh, prefer non fiction or they prefer fiction they uh, what is one thing which compel them as to take up a new writer and give them a chance okay i'll i'll speak here since i am a self published writer i'm not a published writer yet uh, also because my um, way of writing is not a novel or a fiction yet i do poems mm. and uh, somehow in our country poems is a very very small audience according to publishers extremely extremely small and i do poems i do short stories and I, then i do very small uh, writings like they call it short fiction Mini but i call it short fiction, yeah, yeah but i call it short writings and the first book which is she and he uh, after that i've had i did three books like but i'm very i'm very romanticized about uh, writing you know so when i went to a publisher they said uh, this neither poetry neither prose you know i mean what is the genre i said mm -hmm. sir there's no genre you know i mean looking at that uh, they need to have something to sell the book you know mm -hmm. because at the end of the day it's exactly. a business for it's them exactly it's a business for me i am an artist so i i mean i don't want to define it maybe or something so there is always a dichotomy or some kind of uh, artistic uh, bent of mind that if you have it then a traditional publishing would not suit me mm -hmm. so maybe i i made a small beautiful square book i shot the cover i designed the book i hand made it you know uh, then this recent book of poems i ha i handwrote the entire thing and then printed it like that you know okay. so that everybody who takes it it was basically a handwritten kind yes, of book yes because nobody writes to each other anymore you know so it's it's just but coming back to publishing for this novel that i'm editing i'm hoping i was speaking with her that you know i get a publisher because the distribution becomes better exactly yes so i've not yet started to show my work anywhere but uh, i think distribution in itself uh, works better with publishing and i think what uh, the question yours was that what do publishers really look for i think yep. you guys will be able to answer because <laughs> mine is self published we started out by saying this the reader base has increased right True. and interest have developed so i don't think there's one answer to whether publishers like fiction or non fiction mm -hmm. i think there's a market for both and both are coexisting right of course a lot of fiction writers have opened up the market so you have a lot of these new age writers new age fictions absolutely as well. appealing to a younger age group and all of that and they are churning out books also you know quickly. very quick books kind of and, and uh, sometimes which are uh, more of uh, a typical masala Uh, uh, yes, it's, it's it's almost like that. Yeah, so that set in our IITs and, IITs and yes, all of that. Yes, so yes. they have a different kind of audience. Having said that, I think both fiction and non-fiction have. A I guess they they uh, target that those people who are having an overnight journey, still going the overnight journey. Uh, <laughs> ek book li and it is like within hundred pages, it is completing the whole story, that's and right. the, your journey is over. So I guess those kind of books are picked up uh, by youngsters a lot. True credit. so you can credit them also because they've opened up a whole new market so uh, yes. and increase the reader base so good for the reading fraternity but uh, there is a market for both i'd say right so you being a journalist i mean uh, this question definitely i would like uh, you to answer to uh, what is in publishers mind i mean when they take up a new writer sometimes they give, do give chance to new writers and uh, as far as i have uh, heard stories i mean a lot of writers have been rejected umpteen times you know before a publisher accepted their work what is one thing which publishers look out i mean when it is the saleability point or it is the uh, quality of story what is that i find it very funny <laughs> i'll tell you somebody uh, pride and prejudice jane austen yeah somebody sort of did up the whole manuscript as a manuscript sent it to publishers it was rejected yeah It was. Jane Austen was rejected by publishers. Jane so, Austen, yeah. as in not that Jane Austen, right. somebody uh, 
uh, cleverly hmm. uh, downloaded this as a manuscript word word manuscript right. or whatever sent it to publisher they said no we won't publish it yeah. so that's your answer i mean it's extremely subjective yeah um, yeah apart from subjective i think the I think there's just so many levels and realms and I think at the end of the day what you really want from your own writing. So basically know, uh, even if it is a publisher uh, that one moment that the person is sitting there whether he likes your manuscript or not sometimes we go there and stop there. If you like it or not whether 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 in that whether that publishing house is looking at that kind that genre at that genre time or not as well, as you know, that particular genre may have had some successes. Right, you know, like right. mythology these days. Mythology is these days so, is uh, in thing. So lot of lot of those kind of books are coming yeah. up. People, uh, publishers are actually looking for more non-fiction in India. Okay. Non-fiction sells in India more than fiction. That's what publishers tell me. I'm not sure, but that's what they say. And I always thought the reverse that an, a fiction sells more, you know. Because I think we see a lot more fiction near us somehow. Maybe uh, all around, you know, on traffic signals and stuff. Yeah. We see the popular books. Popular so I think post. what we see is a lot more. Is fiction. a lot more fiction, and yes. So, uh, how one? Uh, I mean, before we wrap up the session, uh, one um, piece of advice to new writers and especially to the youngsters who are uh, interested in uh, literature, who want to get into writing uh, and publishing as well. So one piece of advice uh, if they want to become a writer and again if they want to become a published writer. Perseverance, I don't think there's anything else. I mean, you have to write for the right reasons and keep at it. And mm -hmm. as you said and so said, there'll be enough and more times where rejections will come your way and uh, I mean, to look at each rejection and say maybe I'm not worth it is not the way to look at it. Maybe you, they're not able to see something that you have provided you are, you know, sincere about your craft. And, and as we discussed, maybe at that point in time, the publishing house does not, not look, looking, out for looking at that genre or things don't fit in in those scheme of things. I think perseverance in one word, I don't think there's anything else, whether a writer or a published writer, I don't know. Ask the um, I think, uh, as Rinkuji said, perseverance and also, uh, I think, uh, you know, there are too many platforms nowadays. If you think your craft is enough, you go express yourself, you know, there is a whole readership based on not just social media, there are, you know, uh, there e are ebooks are, e are there, you download your book, you write your book, put it on Amazon yourself, distribute it, you can do so much today. Uh, if you believe in your craft. But uh, another thing that I really work for even myself is that keep working on your craft. Don't become this Instagram celebrity and be like, oh, yes. I'm a very big writer. Yes. No, it's not like that. I'm not saying that publishing is a... Is a Ultimate a, level. Yes, it's ultimate level. But keep working on your craft, you know, don't, I mean, I think today that is also really happening in the young generation. Absolutely. At the age of 21 with flash fiction or with, you know, short writings, with caption writing and all these things that everybody and the ATK followers thing, you know, everybody somehow is really saying that, uh, this, you know, that we are uh, popular. This I, I would like to take uh, the opportunity to share a small incident. Um, ours is a, um, comparatively, it's a new platform for Delhi NCR as well. So uh, the first uh, event which we did, um, uh, I was absolutely clueless about the kind of poetry or uh, writing is happening in Delhi Art Circuit. So uh, there was a group of youngsters and they were um, uh, doing events in my hometown, Lucknow. And I said, and they said, okay, okay ma'am, we want to come to, towards Delhi. I said, okay, fine, um, I'll support you, uh, let's do an event because, you know, I didn't had, there's an age gap, you know, the, the, uh, the poetry circuit, which I say, they are of like twenties, college going, and you know. So I was absolutely clueless. Koi nahi tha. I said, okay, theek hai. And we started off, and I went to the uh, session just to see uh, with the normal day-to-day -day language of Delhi is not that good. So I was having no clue ki kis kism ki poetry hogi. But yes, I was extremely uh, happy and uh, presently surprised too that. Yes, uh, the new gen is uh, picking up poetry. All the yawners, all who shayari bhi karti hain, nazme bhi likhti hain, aur bahut khubsurat likhte hain. And it happened, and after that, uh, there was a second or third event, I guess, and uh, I just messaged um, a young girl. Uh, I liked her poetry a lot. There was a lot of fire, and you know, and uh, she just messaged me, uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Can you put me into the featured poet category? And I was like, 
I couldn't understand that because she's a young girl. And if I go some ask someone that put me into the featured category, what is the need of that? You know, so once you you just uh, uh, mentioned that Instagram ATK followers, I just remembered that because um, that Instagram and uh, social media fame, somewhere it is making a lot of new writers, but somewhere again, they are not, they are putting up a hindrance on people's, uh, you know, growing up within their own craft. So they are very much okay, okay, now I'm famous and you know. Yeah, and you know, I think fame is also very subjective in terms of, you know, what Sir said and he mentioned all these uh, such um, amazing Huge, writers. Names, right. Uh, if we don't be persistent or we don't keep honing on craft, we'll never get there. If we at all want to be eternal or be remembered after we go away, you know. Uh, because what is really written or in a book or something, it's something that people do remember by. I mean, we do you know, kar sakte. Ko yaad karte hai. Kyun yaad karte hai? Kyunki wo abhi bhi hume waisa feel karate hai, jaisa unhone tab feel kiya. Jaisa us unhone feel kiya So, right. aaj everything is so, with stories, everything goes away in 24 hours, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm speaking the Instagram language because, you know, I do belong to the generation that's using it, but I personally think, there are advantages to it also that I meet people like meet you people. through it, right, you know, right. and uh, and have a discussion over something that we all love, which is yeah. literature. And that was that was our connect on Instagram, right? Yeah. So you know that's a good way also, but just don't limit ourselves in that vicious circle. Vicious of circle of social media yeah, and yeah, the following. That, side. Because the then the skill needs four hours of writing every day or something. If you don't do that, then you're just lying to yourself, you know. Any parting words, sir, to the new age coming yes, up writers? Uh, Couple of things. The ladies said they said most of the things. One is uh, you should try to find your own voice. True. Most people say that oh, you should get your own voice, but you know, they they, they will tell you, oh, oh, does it belong to middle class fiction or does it belong to this? No. Uh, you have to find your own voice. It take it, it takes a lot of hard work to get there. Right. Which means you're not looking at readers, you're not looking at publishers, you're not looking at fame, you're not looking at riches. You just want them to write because your soul is telling you to write. That's one. Two, you have to attempt universality. Something which is universal, which will, uh, which will not be restricted to countries, which will not be restricted to times. Mm. Antigone, you still read Antigone in among the great Greek tragedies. Uh, Sophocles was involved politically, but when he when he wrote that uh, tragedy, that play, he he removed all the 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 topicality, all the immediacy from the play, and concentrated on Antigone and her single-minded aim to get her brother a decent burial. That's the entire thing, and he worked on that, worked on the simple thing, and we speak of Antigone today. True. Sure. So universality, that's very, what you write has to be universal. So that's a very, very uh, wise uh, advice that it has to be universal. It's not mine, it's not mine. <laughs> it has to be universal and definitely write from the heart. Be true to yourself, be true to your writing. Thank you so much, all three of you. It was lovely chatting. And uh, I'm sure uh, these, um, uh, we had an informal thing, but you know, there are nuances which the new uh, age writers and um, aspiring writers will pick up. And uh, thank you so much once again. Well, what do you think of, about the publishing? Let me ask you that. Uh, yes. Uh, Self-publication, yes, that is something which I feel that everyone I write just uh, uh, went out kind of thing. Uh, my every story has a bit of me and a lot of fiction if I talk about short stories. So a few are very romanticized also. So uh, I keep the character, some character is me and then I create the whole thing in and around. Uh, as far as non-fiction is concerned, a lot of things keep on happening in and around which I love to express because I guess they do affect us. So writing is one thing where we can easily uh, express ourselves. Sometimes you feel like, you know, you are so, so disturbed. <laughs> so I guess Sara Gussa, frustration, uh, that helplessness sometimes to 
change the situation we can do through words that's a very constructive way so for me personally uh, writing is more of a venting out and yes um jaisa ki aapne kaha ki this is there's no yawner the similar thing goes with me um main jo likhti hu main aksar kehti hu ki main khayal likhti hu because lot of extremely talented poets come on our platform wo ghazlein likhte hain us kism ki likhte hain ki आई ऑलवेज से देर आर फ्यू जिनको कि शायद अगले दस सालों में हम उन्हें उस किस्म के लेवल पर देखें कि जो बड़े शायर थे दे हैव गाट दैट काइंड ऑफ पोटेंशियल बोथ इन हिंदी एंड उर्दू बट तो उनके सामने कभी अगर होता है कि नहीं नहीं आप कुछ पढ़िए तो मुझे लगता है यार इनके सामने क्या पढ़ा जाए एंड देन आई टेल दैम कि मैं ख्याल लिखती हूँ आई डोंट राइट गज़ल क्योंकि मुझे बहर की समझ नहीं है बट येस अगेन इट इज़ मोर ऑफ दैट वेन आई एम आई एम जस्ट सिटिंग एज सैड इट इज़ मोर ऑफ अ लोनली टाइम सो वेन आई एम सिटिंग इट्स जस्ट सम टाइम इट कम्स आप इट्स इट जस्ट गोज विद द फ्लो तो मेरे लिए वो ख्याल होते हैं सो दैट्स वॉट फॉर मी राइटिंग इज सोलेस यू नो दैट गिवस मी हैप्पीनेस एंड वेदर इट इज़ पब्लिश मैं अक्सर कहती हूँ कि मेरी डायरी मैंने इसलिए रखी है कि मैं इसको एक बार पब्लिश करा के जाऊँगी ठीक है चाहे वो सेल्फ पब्लिकेशन हो कोई ना कोई पढ़े दैट दैट फील कि मरने के बाद भी लोग आपको पढ़े दैट इज वन थिंग विच मेक्स मी राइट सो येस इट इज कम से कम मरने के बाद तो पढ़े <laughs> Absolutely. So on this lovely note, we are ending the session, and thank you so much, all three of you, for coming and gracing the stage.